It's not easy here in America to figure out how to become a watchmaker, but watchmakers in the US right now are in very high demand. So if you can figure out how to go to a watchmaking school and get the right degree, then you could have an immediate job and a good job with great pay, great benefits. You just have to do a little research and some digging and I can help you with that. So to begin, I'll tell you a little bit about where I went to school and why I chose the school I went to. But it's good to take note of the current school options that are out there. Because in the watch industry, since these are small private schools, things change. They change quickly. A school that had a certain certification and you'd get a certain degree from one year might be different the next year. So the Nicholas G. Hayek School of Watchmaking, the school I attended, is operated by the Swatch Group, and it's currently operating in Miami, Florida. It shares a location with their Southern US and Caribbean Service Center. There's a little bit of South American uh, watches coming in for service as well in that service center. So at this Nicholas G. Hayek School of Watchmaking, we're learning a Swiss curriculum and getting the WOSTEP certificate, which is the same certificate that a watchmaking student would receive in Europe. And to me, that was really important because I didn't know if I was gonna to wanna to try to work in Europe at some point. So having the same certificate as what is required to work in Switzerland, to me was important. Now the program there has changed. There is a new certified watch technician curriculum. And that's what this particular Nicholas G. Hayek school has switched to. So today, if you go to the same school that I went to, you would do one year instead of two years and you would get a certified watch technician diploma. This is an example of a school that changes the curriculum they're offering. Even though it's still WOSTEP, it's a different certificate. It's a, a lower position, more entry level. And it's not bad, you just wanna know that going into it. It's designed a little more for a technician so that they can do one year of school and then transfer into a service center where they can get a lot more on the job training. So if you're looking for something that's quicker in the schooling side so that you can start making some money and working uh, as a watch technician, then that's a great option. If you're looking for the two year WOSTEP program, then you're actually gonna have to go out of the US to get that. It's not something that's being offered at any of the WOSTEP affiliated schools in the US. So if you attend the Nicholas G. Hayek School of Watchmaking in Miami, Florida, you would get that one year watch technician degree. Another school that's WOSTEP affiliated is the North American Institute of Watchmaking. This school is operated by the Richemont Group. The Richemont Group has a large service center for the Americas located in the Dallas area. It's technically Fort Worth, but it's right by Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. And within that service center, the school operates. And currently it's a WOSTEP school and so it's offering that one year watch technician degree. A big benefit to these schools being operated and in partnership 
with large companies like the Swatch Group or Richemont Group is that they actually have a huge demand for watchmakers, especially here in the US. The US is one of the top markets for the sale of fine timepieces. So these companies need watchmakers. And because they have this huge need for the watchmakers, they are focusing heavily on training new and younger watchmakers. So they offer these programs free of tuition. So it won't actually cost you any money to attend the school. The one thing you will have to pay for are your tools. Every watchmaker has tools, things like screwdrivers, tweezers, any tools that they use on their bench that really kind of become very personalized items, things that you tune just for the way you work. So those items you need to purchase. My toolkit, I believe, was about $5,000. I attended for a two-year program for the full watchmaker certificate, so there were more tools in my kit. However, prices have probably gone up, but I would say budgeting around $5,000 for tools is a good idea. Now, the toolkit is something that you don't have to go out and, and find on your own. It's actually pre-packaged by WoStep. So it'll be there ready for you if you're attending one of the WoStep schools. So here in the US, we're really fortunate that there are so many good options for becoming watchmakers that don't actually cost us any tuition. In Europe, if you were to attend a WoStep school, it would cost over $40,000 to get that WOSTEP certificate. You would also have to buy your tools. So you could be 50 or $60,000 invested in your WOSTEP certificate. Whereas here in the US, you only have to have those tools. Now in the, the WOSTEP school environment, it's very small. You'll be in a class with maybe six to seven other students. So you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the watchmaker that is the instructor, and you'll have access to some amazing equipment, things like top-of-the-line timing machines and, and lathes, polishing machines, everything is the best, right? Because you have these big companies that are supporting it, and they wanna make sure that the facility is not only functioning the best they can have it functioning, but they're also working to impress you as the student because in the end, they would really like to hire you. Now there's no contract, so you're not required to go work for the Swatch Group if you go to a Swatch Group funded WOSTEP school. And you're not required to go to work for Richmond if you attend their school in Dallas. But they'll have firsthand knowledge of your work. So if you're doing well, it might be a great way for you to seamlessly kind of work right into their service center. It's basically right next door, just through, just through a couple of double doors. So at the end of our two-year program in Miami, my classmates ended up in many different places. I myself went to work for Audemars Piguet. There were other watchmakers that stayed right there in Miami and worked just in the next room at the Swatch Group Service Center there. Other watchmakers went to Ulysse Nardin in Boca Raton. Um, another watchmaker ended up at Patek Philippe. And I know of one of the watchmakers that went to work for a private, smaller, uh, family-owned watch repair business. So you really could go all over the US. Having that WOSTEP certificate is really the way to get your foot in the door as a watchmaker. If you only have 
on the job experience as an apprentice, maybe training with a watchmaker uh, or self-teaching, right? These ways you can learn watchmaking. However, it's gonna be very hard to get a job at a service center or with a big brand because they really are focused on that certificate. It's kind of like the college degree It'll get you in the door, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are better than someone who doesn't have it. It just means that you invested that time and you have the basic set of skills so that whatever company is looking for a watchmaker, they already trust the institution that you trained with and they're more willing to bring you into their service center. But once you get a job, you're going to be working with much older watchmakers who have either owned their own businesses and transitioned into working for a larger company like Richemont, Swatch Group, or Rolex, and you will be able to learn a lot from them. And that's really the design of watchmaking schools, to start with the basics and get a solid foundation so that when you move into a watchmaking facility where you're employed as a watchmaker, you can learn from the watchmakers who have been working for 20, 30, even 40 years. So as far as WOSTEP schools go, those are the options here in the US. And like I said, it's a little limited now because they no longer offer the full two year watchmaking certificate. So it's just a, a watchmaking technician certificate which is kind of nice because it allows you to only invest one year without getting paid, right? It's a full-time, uh, eight hour a day, five day a week program where it would be very hard to also try and have a, a full-time job to, to pay bills. So you have to be prepared to probably take an entire year off of work, maybe with a little part-time work on the side, but it's only half as much of a time investment as the watchmaker certificate. So now here in North America, there's a new program since I became a watchmaker called the Swiss American Watchmaker Training Alliance. And this was created by Rolex. So it's another big brand that has created a curriculum and operates schools or supports schools with funding. So your options here in the US right now, there is the Lidditz Watch Technicum, which is in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. It's an amazing facility with amazing teachers, any watchmaking tool you could ever imagine at your disposal. It's funded by Rolex. So there's plenty of money to make sure that the schooling is second to none. This is a true two year curriculum. And at the end, you will get that SADA certificate and the Lidditz diploma. So if you're looking for the full two year watchmaker certification, Lidditz is a great option. They have another program, however, which is not something that was offered when I was looking to become a watchmaker. And I think it's really a great option, a great, and it could be a great fit for the right person. It is a three-year option. This three-year option allows the student the ability to work as an apprentice. So it is a dual learning program where you have an apprenticeship, possibly working at a service center and then every quarter you go to Lidditz for two weeks and you work 12 hour days for two weeks it's on the weekends too so it's 14 days straight 12 hour days but it's only once a quarter that you do that the rest of the time you can be working at an apprenticeship and as an apprentice you'll be getting paid, you'll be working on uh, real life work, right? You'll have watches coming in the door, 
and you'll be working side by side with other qualified watchmakers. So it's certainly a unique way to get your watchmaking certificate. And for the right person, I think it could be uh, a very great way to learn and to learn a lot. So it's a three year program. And at the end you would get that SADA certificate. Now the other SADA school is the North Seattle College. This one is also funded by Rolex. However, it's within a college. So that means you're gonna have to apply to that college for that program, which you have to apply to all the schools anyway, but you will have to pay the tuition at that school. The curriculum there is very similar However, the facilities are smaller because it is within the college. Now at Lidditz, it will be tuition free. Just like if you go to a school at the Richemont Group or at Swatch Group. However, Lidditz is the only one offering the full watchmaker certificate just from attending their school. If you go to the North Seattle college, you will need to also sit for a test to get that SADA certificate, but it is available to you. And there is another option for tuition free training. And in fact, this training offers a stipend. You can actually get paid to go to watchmaking school. Patek Philippe offers a watchmaking school in New York City. They focus on teaching their own curriculum. So it is not a SADA certificate and it's not a WOSTEP certificate, but a diploma from Patek Philippe is pretty valuable, I think, and would probably be recognized within the industry as something that is quite valuable and on par with a WOSTEP certificate. And in that, program. It's similar. It's a two year program where you're working in their school and you're learning, uh, I believe it's one through three level one, two, and three of Patek Philippe's own watchmaking levels. So again, with Patek Philippe, you're not required or contractually obligated to work for them afterwards. However, you might be most valuable for them, right? You've gone through a two-year program and completed their specific brand training. And then you actually travel to Switzerland to sit for the final tests to make sure that you are actually up to the standards of those levels that they use internally for their watchmaker qualifications. This school is in a very expensive part of the country, but so is the Nicholas G. Hayek School of Watchmaking in Miami. If you go to Dallas, Fort Worth or Lidditz, Pennsylvania, you'll be in a significantly less expensive place during your training uh, because you will have to sacrifice financially because you can't really have another job at the time. So those are the options for schools here in the U.S. that are affiliated with the Swiss and are connected in some way with the Swiss watchmaking industry. There are other options. However, many of them will cost some money and might not be as good because they don't have that Swiss affiliation. I could be biased on that because I do think that there is value in an industry that is dominated by Switzerland to have some sort of certificate that has a Swiss affiliation. Another great option as an American is utilizing the AWCI. The AWCI is the American Watchmaker and Clockmaker Institute. And this institute has watchmaking certificates that they issue. 
and they issue them based on a test. And this is great for anyone who has trained on the job. It's also great for anyone who maybe is considering teaching themselves or doing some sort of distance learning uh, through the mail or online, maybe just watching YouTube videos and, and trying to figure, out, figure it out by reading and watching YouTube. When you're ready, you can sign up for AWCI tests. You can also take AWCI curriculum. So they offer programs that are paid and usually a few days to a week long program and you can piecemeal the schooling. So you could go and take a class on automatic watches or on polishing. Each one will be paid and you won't get a certificate from each one you will get a certificate of completion, but it won't really mean anything without having the final certificate, which is your CW21, Certified Watchmaker 21st Century. So you could potentially take all of their classes and then sit for the CW21 test in order to get the CW21 certificate, which is something that can be used to go get a job at a service center or at a big jewelry store, anywhere where they're advertising jobs, where they're looking for a certified watchmaker. A job listing that's looking for a certified watchmaker is usually requesting that you have a WOSTEP certificate, a CW21, or a SOTA certificate. So many times, watchmakers that went to smaller, watchmaking programs that are offered, such as a program in Paris, Texas. There is a community college there offering a watchmaking program. Now, the program alone doesn't really get you a certificate that will get you a job at one of these larger employers. However, it will teach you enough that you should be able to sit for the CW21 test that AWCI is offering in order to get that certificate. So if you look into the offerings that AWCI has and when those tests are happening, you might be able to attend a smaller school that's much closer to home or in a much lower cost place to live, maybe easier to apply for and get into but that I don't really know for sure. All the schools are pretty small, usually about eight students per class. So there's one more program that I think is worth mentioning. There's the Veterans Watchmakers Initiative. And this is a nonprofit program that is designed to create a, a training environment for disabled veterans to learn watchmaking. So it's potentially an option for the right person to attend this program and then sit for a CW21 test and get a full certified watchmaker certificate. Now, one thing I will mention about the CW21 is that it requires ongoing education. So in order to maintain your CW21 certificate, you need continuing education credits. So this is part of the reason that AWCI offers classes regularly throughout the year. With WOSTEP and SADA, it's not required that you have ongoing education. All of the AWCI offered class programming and CW21 testing is something that will cost money. You'll also have to keep membership with AWCI. So it costs a little more money, but for the right individual, it could be the best choice. Once you have a watchmaking certificate, 
you're technically a watchmaker, right? You can work as a watchmaker at another business, or you could start your own watchmaking business. But you have that certificate that proves that you've completed some sort of coursework or have tested to the point where you are at least a good enough watchmaker to have a certificate from some sort of agency. After that, there is a certified master watchmaker certificate that you can get from AWCI, but a master watchmaker is typically in the world outside of America and the AWCI, they're typically a watchmaker with much more experience, either having operated their own watchmaking business, making watches, or having trained to a higher standard within another company, working for Vacheron Constantine and working your way up to work on complicated watches or managing one of the watchmaking workshops. These are things that are on the path to being a master watchmaker. However, there is no global uh, consensus or certifying agency as far as master watchmaker goes. It's really just the more senior watchmaker in a facility could be considered the master watchmaker. So oftentimes if you're working in larger businesses, maybe at the Swatch Group in a service center, you'll have a head watchmaker. And the head watchmaker is kind of leading that group of watchmakers. And the head watchmaker is the individual that the uh, less experienced watchmakers can go to and ask questions. The head watchmaker will have seen many different problems, will know of many different solutions. They should know how to use every tool that exists, really. And if the tool doesn't exist, they should know how to make it. So the head watchmaker is a resource in every watchmaking workshop. And if you utilize that resource as a, a young up and coming watchmaker, you can learn a lot. And then at some point, maybe you could be the head watchmaker and one day call yourself a master watchmaker. So if you're thinking at all about becoming a watchmaker, there's not really one way that it has to be done. You can start small, try and teach yourself some things, work on your own, set up a home workshop kind of, or you could immediately jump right in and go to a, a two year school, move across the country or uh, have a huge life changing moment. But there really isn't one way that you have to take. And once you get your watchmaker training, there's not one specific job you have to do. After becoming a watchmaker, you could work at a large company, a Swatch Group or a Richemont in a large service center. Or you could work as an individual watchmaker in a small watch store, something local, where you're in charge of your own workshop. You could also start your own business repairing watches. Could be done through the mail, right? People are searching online on how to, how to get their watches fixed, how to restore vintage watches, all of these things. So it's a good opportunity for the right person to have their own business repairing watches. But even outside of the watch industry, there are jobs for assembly technicians I know watchmakers who have left the watchmaking industry because companies like Honeywell are hiring assembly technicians for assembling complex uh, equipment and doing tasks that are suited 
to watchmakers. And they actually are asking for watchmaking certificates to apply for those jobs. So it's not limited to just watchmaking. There are many other industries that require fine dexterity, attention to detail, working on small scale. I was actually approached by Apple to work for them as a prototypist. And it's completely outside of watchmaking. So there are opportunities that are adjacent to the kind of work that you would do as a watchmaker, but it's not necessarily required that you work on just watches. Once you become a watchmaker, it's really just the beginning. At that point, the goal is to learn as much as you can from peers, from other watchmakers that are more experienced. Watchmaking is a, a really interesting craft. It's something that we have spent thousands of years fine-tuning and learning, inventing, creating, all of the theory behind it. That took thousands of years of creation. And if we don't continue to train more watchmakers, with every generation that retires, every generation that passes away, we lose little bits of knowledge. So training to become a watchmaker is actually keeping that alive and continuing that tradition. A lot of this knowledge is not passed down through books. It's something that's passed from person to person, watchmaker to watchmaker. So it is not written. And what that means is that when the watchmakers disappear, there's really no record. The watchmaking expertise disappears with them.